Hello, it's Jim from JustinHacks.com. On today's show, I want to share with you five different things about OpenCV on the NVIDIA Judson Developer Kits. We get a lot of questions about OpenCV on the Judson Hacks channel. Let me share five important points with you. The first one is, how do we figure out what build is running and what is available? We typically see this type of question as, does OpenCV run CUDA? Does OpenCV run GStreamer? Does OpenCV look like a cat? We don't get that one as much. We've never gotten that one. Let's figure out what version we are running of OpenCV. This is a Jetson Nano. Here's our environment. We have just flashed a brand new Jetson Nano image. We are running L4T 32.2.1 from Jetpack 4.2.2. The numbers are funny. The usual way that we look up a package version is to use dpackage. Let's do that. Minus L. And let's grep live open CV. We can see that we're running live open CV version 3.3.1. I would assume this is a commit version. That gives us what version we are running. OpenCV is a pretty complex environment. We'd also like to know some more about the build information. Things like, is GStreamer supported? Is CUDA supported? What modules have been built? And so on. We can import the OpenCV library into Python and look at the build information. Let's do that. Python. Import CV2. That is the name of the OpenCV library. And now we are going to print the build information. And it basically dumps how it built OpenCV. We can see that it's OpenCV 3.3.1. We see the platform. So we can see it was a Linux 4.9. Tegra, the CMake version, release version. We can see the CPU hardware features, Neon, for example, on the Jetson. That's a default on the 64-bit CPUs. We can see all the compiler flags for C and C++ and which compiler they used. Here are the OpenCV modules, the GUI. GUI, GUI, GUI. GTK plus, there's no QT support built in. Here's some information about the media IO, video IO. We can see that GStreamer is built in. Version 1.14.1. We can see here in the other third party libraries, which one we used, we used Eigen. And here's one of the most frequently asked questions. Use CUDA. The answer is no. And we can see here that we have Python 2 and Python 3 support. Now we can also see that there are tests and samples available that were built. And the install path is slash user. Let's open up another terminal. Let's wander over to user. We can see some of the binaries here. OpenCV version. Let's go over to the live directory. We can see that there are a bunch of OpenCV libraries here. And let's get out of Python. The second question that we get asked a lot is, does this version of OpenCV work with Python 3? The answer is yes. Let's run Python 3. Let's import the library, CV2, and we get an error. Hmm, well, that's not good. If you are familiar with Python, 
you would probably guess that NumPy is not installed. We see that there's an import error, NumPy. And it failed to import. Let's take a look at our modules. This will list all of the installed modules. Okay, Let's wander up here a little bit. We can see that Macaroon Bakery is installed. That's important. But no NumPy, I don't see it. Let's install it. Open up the terminal. And we need the Python 3 version. If you're more comfortable using pip3, you could use that also. That looks like it went OK. Let's close that terminal. Let's give her another whirl. Import CV2. Oh, it looks happy now. And let's take a look at our build information. Sure enough. So we're up and running in Python 3. The third question usually is, does this version of OpenCV have a feature? In particular, GStreamer and CUDA. We look at our build information and we can answer that. We look at video IO, GStreamer, and we can see that version 1.14.1 is supported. And in other third party libraries, we see that use CUDA is no. This version of OpenCV, the default version that ships with the Jetsons, does not have CUDA support. Basically, what that means is that if you want CUDA support, then you will need to compile OpenCV from source. The fourth point is that if you're using OpenCV, Python, and CUDA, you will need to use OpenCV version 4. Version 3 of OpenCV does not support Python wrappers. Now, if you're sufficiently motivated, you can probably get to work with OpenCV 3 somehow, but most people just go to OpenCV 4. Point number five, a lot of other applications don't play well with live OpenCV installations. Many applications, ROS is a perfect example of this, use the version of OpenCV that's in the Ubuntu repository. And that's, I believe that's version 3.2. One of the issues there is that version 3.2 in the repository does not have built-in GStreamer support. So that means that your CSI camera won't work or whatever. A lot of people experience this and they don't know what happened and it just says it doesn't work. And like everybody else, what happens is they start a long and arduous journey in installing and uninstalling, hoping and praying that it will eventually work. We've all been down that path. Check your version of OpenCV to make sure you know what's going on. And here's the bonus point. One of the things that people report after installing the GPU accelerated OpenCV functions is that their algorithms do not run any faster. This can be for a variety of reasons. The first and foremost is that all OpenCV functions are not GPU accelerated. So that's one thing to check. The second reason is that some algorithms do not lend themselves to parallelization. I think that's how you say it. In other words, it doesn't help to run the algorithm in parallel. The third reason is that your processing pipeline may not take advantage of parallel processing. And the fourth reason is that bandwidth overhead may be a problem. So for example, it may take as long to get the data to the GPU and back as it does to get the acceleration benefit. Let's sum up those points. The benefit that you get from moving your processing to the GPU on OpenCV will depend on the functions that you call the configuration that you use, and the processing pipeline. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.